Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this video tutorial, we explain how to fix the winget error that you can see over here. Namely, winget is a very useful tool for installing and uninstalling packages and programs in Windows by using command line or PowerShell. Now, if you, for example, open a PowerShell in administrator mode or in any mode, and if you type winget, you might see this error. Now, the error states that the term winget is not recognized as the name of a CMD-led function, script file, or a program. This means, this can actually mean the following two things. Number one, it can mean that winget is not installed on your system, and or it can mean that winget is not in the system path. So let's learn how to fix this error. Okay, let's start. First, let's make sure that winget is installed on your system. Consequently, Google winget install or winget download, and you will go to this web page. Now, this web page will give you instructions for installing winget, and the idea over here is to go to this app installer website on the Microsoft Store. Here, you will have to create an, an account on the Microsoft Store, which you probably have, and you will have to just search or this link will actually automatically lead you to this page and you need to install and after you install and you go again you might see again the error like this let me show you again I currently have app in installer installed and I can go further and I can install it and here it is and on my system is already installed however to make sure and to verify that I still get this error so I will click here then I will type PowerShell, then I will run as administrator, and over here, if I again type winget, I will get the error. So what is the error? Well, the error is that although winget is installed, it is not in the system path. And let's learn how to add winget to the system path. To fix this problem, click here and start, and over here, search for environment, or better to say edit system environment variables click here click on environment variables and click here on the path and click on edit path and over here you need to add a path to winget okay so click here and you can just double click and the path should look like this you have this macro user profile app data local microsoft windows apps in this folder Windows Apps, there is an executable file called winget. And you can actually verify this by just doing this. And you will actually see over here winget, and that's the case. So go back over here, make sure that this path is set, click OK, click OK, click OK. Let's now restart the PowerShell. Again, click here, search for power. Windows PowerShell run as administrator, click yes, and then let's type winget, and here it is. Now we can run winget, and you can actually install a package by just searching for winget and the name of the package or the name of the program. You also have a few other interesting commands, for example, winget search, and then you can search for something, for example, let's search for a llama and let's see what they will get, give us. And you can see, you can even find <laughs> Olama over here. Good. Okay, that's all for today, and thanks for watching.